The four-page document released on Friday is at the heart of a firestorm over Donald Trump, Russia and Special Consul Robert Mueller. What's in it? The four-page memo revolves around the wiretrap on Carter Page, who was briefly an advisor to the Trump campaign and a figure on the FBI's radar since at least 2013. According to its authors, the memo's finding raised concerns with the legitimacy and legality of certain and FBI interactions with the court that approves surveillance requests. It also claims they represent a troubling breakdown of legal process established to protect the American people from abuses. The memo criticized investigators who applied for a wiretrap, saying they used material provided by a former British agent, Christopher Steele, without sufficiently disclosing their source to the judge. Steele was employed by a freelance research firm, which in turn had been hired by Democrats during the general election campaign. Will the government shut down? It's too early to know. It is unclear whether House Republicans will even have the votes to pass the bill, as defense hawks and conservative House Freedom Caucus members are balking at approving another temporary solution. And since House Democrats are adamant they won't support a continuing resolution that does not include immigration reforms, it's possible GOP leaders will come up short of a majority when that vote takes place Tuesday. If it does pass the House, 60 votes will be needed in the Senate, meaning at least 9 Democrats must vote yes. It's too soon to know if they will back the House's six-week proposal, in part, because it blows past the March 5 deadline when the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals program expires. Democrats may want to maintain some leverage to help keep the ACA in place, but Republicans feel confident Democrats won't threaten to shut down the government as they did two weeks ago. There is no education in the second kick of a mule, McConnell said, about the short-lived shutdown. And Senate Democrat, chief immigration negotiator, Sunday morning that he does not anticipate another government shutdown. I don't see a government shutdown coming. But I do see a promise by Senator McConnell to finally bring this critical issue that affects the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in America, finally bringing it to a full debate in the Senate. Russia investigation, debit will continue over the release of a highly controversial memo by House intelligence Republicans, which has heightened the partisans' divide over the Russia investigation. While Republicans lauded the White House decision to release the memo, saying it highlights underlying problems with US surveillance and provides greater transparency, Democrats slammed the decision. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer on Sunday called on Donald Trump to support the release of the House Democrats memo, calling it a matter of fundamental fairness to let the public see both sides of the issue. How does this affect social security? Social security is different from other government programs, such as the National Park Service, in that it is partially self-funded. The money that used to pay social security disability insurance and retirement checks doesn't come from the general taxes. It comes from the Social Security Trust, which is funded by an income deduction from American workers' paychecks. So, if you are already on SSDI or retirement, then a government shutdown probably won't affect your benefit payments. What happens during a government shutdown? When the government shuts down, government employees are put on furlough until the funding can be secured to pay them. Only those employees considered absolutely critical to maintaining necessary services and infrastructure are accepted from the furlough and usually without a guarantee of pay. If you liked our video, please press the like button and you can subscribe. And if you want to support us from the Patreon, you can see the link below our video.